When you think of illegal steroids, you may think of a guy like this, or maybe even one like this. Building muscle, relying on the juice to get a competitive edge. But it's not just bodybuilders and athletes. Everyday gym members could be using the drug too, injecting something that could be dangerous. But you can't get steroids legally without a prescription from your doctor, causing many to start cooking up steroids in home labs. You literally don't know what you're getting. You don't know what you're ordering. Some of these chemicals that we seized today were from China. Uh, we can't guarantee what those chemicals are and the people that shipped them to the United States don't care. In Longview, international business was conducted inside this store. The product, steroids. The profit, staggering. We estimate thousands, thousands of boxes of steroids being shipped right out of this facility here, uh, this location. More than 37,000 doses of pills and tablets. 1,000 doses of liquid injectable steroids all produced right here, seized before it shipped to customers who ordered them online. Some of that equipment is not your normal day-to-day -day, um, pill producing equipment. That is elaborate, high dollar equipment there that's capable of making a lot of pills, a lot of steroid tablets in this case. And uh, again, tons of liquid in there too. I say tons, a lot of liquid in there that's being made into steroids. From the east, China, to here in East Texas, this product is being sent to eager users. The chemicals that are used to make the steroids come from overseas, they come from China, and you don't know what kind of chemicals those actually are. Uh, and then you get a, a person here, an individual, who's making tons of steroids and they're being shipped all over the United States. That can be just as deadly as cocaine or methamphetamine. This man ran the steroid factory. Now he's working with law enforcement officials. To keep his identity safe, we've blurred his face as the East Texas DEA unpacked his entire operation. We can't just stop right here and say, okay, we seized a, a manufacturing facility for steroids. That's great. We need to know where the, the shipments were coming from, from overseas, who all was receiving uh, shipments of steroids, how much were they receiving? Is this stuff being distributed in the local gyms uh, in Longview, Tyler, East Texas? In business for at least eight months before showing up on the DEA's radar. So how did he get caught? We can uh, track things like purchases and uh, deliveries, shipments, that kind of thing. Uh, and with this type of unusual uh, production, it's a little easier to follow than methamphetamine or cocaine because it flies under the radar uh, with all the equipment and uh, uh, powder and liquids that have to be shipped and mailed, it's a lot easier for us to track that way. So eventually uh, they're going to get caught. Using the postal service, the dealer had a regular routine. He would drop off packages containing the illegal steroids to be shipped from the Longview facility. The most common illegal source comes from smuggling steroids into the United States from other countries like Mexico, Europe, and in this case, China. Shipments coming from and going to foreign destinations monitored closely by the feds. Why weren't more people getting caught? One reason, no prescription is required for ordering illicit or synthetic drugs online. That is taking place right here in people's backyards and they don't know a thing about what's going on. Here's what makes them so dangerous. Uh, as long as people keep shooting this stuff in their arms and taking the pills, it's deadly, it's, it's super dangerous. Folks don't take the long-term uh, repercussions into uh, their thought process when they start injecting steroids and taking steroid pills that is damaging the liver and the kidneys. And they're worried about the, the immediate results and not the long-term damage that it's doing to their body. So long-term, this stuff is as dangerous as any other drug out there. While illegal steroids don't create the typical high, it can be highly addictive. Oftentimes, the drug is made in places like this, storefronts posing as a legit business, creating product for virtual customers. The problem with ordering online, especially if you look into the, the purchases that are made in the, on the dark web, you know, the kind of the underground internet, again, you literally don't know what you're getting. You don't know what you're ordering. Some of these chemicals that we seized today were from China. Online sales dominate the business creating a safe place for dealers and users. Instead of cash or credit cards, some do business with Bitcoin, a digital currency that flies under the radar of 
banks and regulators. This is taking a guy off the streets. Uh, it's not your typical drug dealer that you think of, but he is doing exactly that. He's distributing illegal drugs all over the United States. While this one dealer is now behind bars, the most alarming part for investigators is no one in this community reported him. Nobody really knew him. Nobody knew what he was doing. Always had everything blocked up, boarded up. Never, never, never talked to anybody hardly. So out of everybody around here, it's, it wasn't that great of a surprise. It can happen anywhere, including here. Do you ever think something like this was happening in your own area? <laughs> no, not here, no. Driving home the saying, see something, say something. The quantity of what we've seized today will be analyzed and that quantity will determine what kind of sentence that he, he'll be facing. You know, obviously, the more the more time in federal penitentiary he's going to spend. Also the type of drugs. Uh, some of the, the stuff that you saw in there today and some of the powder, that's filler product. That's not a controlled substance. That not, that's not drugs, but it's stuff that has to be analyzed and computed to determine how much he actually was in possession of and how much he was actually manufacturing. Due to the involvement of other countries, law enforcement agents say this will be a long investigation part of an even longer battle to keep illegal steroids off the streets, out of the gyms, and away from anyone who would use them.